Hey everyone, the objective of this video is to interpret water steam tables with reference to the pure substance PV diagram and to observe the thermodynamic properties of the compressed liquid region, the two phase region and the superheated steam region. Now steam tables are, very, are crucial to understanding the thermodynamic properties of water. Generally they are experimentally collected values which we can then use for calculations. They are available on the internet, or alternatively, there have been a number of books which have collated all the data into one place. So we start off with the temperature table. This is used whenever we know the temperature of the water, but not necessarily the pressure. Generally, this is most useful in cases when we are observing liquid water which has not reached its boiling point yet. So we look at this table with respect to a PV diagram. For example, if we have a, if you create an isotherm, let's say it is a 70 degrees Celsius. So it will be quite far down. And T is equal to 70 degrees Celsius. Basically, if we look at the entry for 70 degrees Celsius right here, what the VF value is saying is that the VF is the specific volume at this point right here. Conversely, the VG value for 70 degrees Celsius is the specific, uh, the specific uh, volume at this point right here. So the F corresponds to the saturated liquid line and the G corresponds to the saturated vapor line. This is also applicable to the other values we find over here, such as the internal energy, the enthalpy, and right here is the entropy, which we will not be discussing at this time. More often than not, however, we'll be given the pressure of the water and have to extrapolate the other values. This is where the pressure tables come in handy. The pressure tables have a large range of values and they are in uh, of pressures which are in bar. Here we have uh, the T value here, which denotes the saturation temperature. What this means is that this is the temperature at which the water will begin to change state at this certain pressure. So for example, at 40 bar here, 250.4 degrees Celsius is where the temp it, it is where the uh, water will begin to change into a gas. So if you look over here, if we look at the PV diagram once again, straightening that out. If we have, say, for example, a pressure of four bar. If we create an isotherm that corresponds to this 4 bar, like here, it has to, over here, has the wet steam region has to be completely horizontal. What this table here is, me, says is that 4 bar, 143.6 degrees Celsius, is the corresponding isotherm. Now, recall that this region over here is the compressed liquid region. So, what are the thermodynamic properties here? For compressed liquid, if the pressure... If the pressure is uh, less than or equal to 5 megapascals, which is equal to 50 bar, then the properties of the liquid at this stage is just going to be the same as the properties at the saturated liquid line. So the specific volume will be the VF value, and the specific uh, internal energy will be the UF value, and so on and so forth. Now, if the water is in this two-phase region here, then we need to use a value of X. Now, recall that X is equal, is, uh, equal to Mg on Mg plus Mf. If we take the example of internal energy, if you have the total internal energy, will just equal to the internal energy of the fluid plus the internal energy of the gas, which makes sense. 
Now, making that into specific internal energy, we just times it by its mass. So the total mass times by the specific internal energy, total specific internal energy, is equal to as follows. Now, we already know that mf is equal, uh, so mt is equal to mf plus mg. And over here, we do a neat little trick where we add an mguf and we subtract an mguf. So in essence, it doesn't really change anything in this equation here. But you'll see why it becomes handy a little bit later. If we divide both sides by mf plus mg, then we get the following. Now, if you recall, mg plus uh, mg on mg plus mf is just equal to x. So we can therefore simplify the u, the total u, to be uf plus x ug minus uf. The very convenient thing is, for all of the aforementioned thermodynamic properties such as enthalpy, specific volume, and entropy, this relationship holds. So H total is going to equal to HF plus X HG minus HF. V, G, v total is equal to VF plus X times by VG minus VF and so on and so forth. So <clears throat> when trying to find the enthalpy specific volume or internal energy of the water that is within this wet steam region, all we have to do is we have to read off the values of HF and HG for example of the steam table corresponding to the pressure that we are that the water is in at the time so say if it's at 4 bar it is uh, HF is equal to 604.8 kilojoules per kilogram and so on and so forth and you just substitute it into this equation consider however if we have a substance that uh, is at a temperature higher than the saturation temperature of the water at the particular pressure this is when the water is in the superheated steam region. And we require the use of the superheated steam tables. Here we can read off the H, V and G values right over here. And corresponding to the temperature of the uh, liquid at that time. So if we try and take an example here of 5 bar at 400 degrees Celsius. What it is saying is that at 400 degrees Celsius and at 5 bar, the specific volume will be 0 0.617 meters cubed per kilogram. The internal energy will be 2,963 kilojoules per kilogram, and the enthalpy will be 3272 kilojoules per kilogram. So if we look at it here diagrammatically, we create the isotherm for 400 degrees Celsius. So let's say this is the isotherm for 100 degrees Celsius. And let's say that this is what corresponds to the 5 bar. So the, the state at which the uh, fluid exists in at, that, at this time is along the 5 bar line and on the t equal 400 degree isotherm. So it will be right here. Cut study time with concise video summaries by top students. Visit SpoonFeedMe.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others.